Okay, we're gonna learn how to make the bobbler. That's what I call that neck piece where the head kind of swivels on. So um, you need to make your neck though the way that you want it. So whether it's an animal like my llama, I've got it made, like when I put the head on there, that's how I want it to look. So the height of the neck right now is how I like it to look as like a finished piece, right? Um, and the same with my person one, if you're doing more of a person, so the neck should look the height that you want it to be when it sits. So right now, if you look from the side, my neck isn't quite tall enough unless my head's gonna sit way down here, which then I don't know how it would bobble. So I need to build that neck up a little bit more before I start doing the bobbler. And I built my neck, you can see on the llama, I just built it with coils. So my neck is hollow and I built it with coils, just like I had built the body. I encourage you to build your neck with coils if you can. If you have a really skinny neck, like a turtleneck or something like that, it's okay to have um, a solid piece of clay, like a big fat coil that is the neck. And you'll see what I mean, because that's how we're gonna do these little bobblers. So I'm gonna add a little bit more on to the neck of my sister using coils. And that way, um, that neck looks more like already the height that I want it to be for the finished product, okay? So the bobbler is an extra piece. So make sure that's step one, get your neck the distance you want, uh, the height you want for where the bottom of the head sits. Okay, now we gotta make the bobbler. So that little bobbler, it's just gonna be an extra piece sticking up that looks kind of like a mushroom. So in order to do that, I need to close this hole up eventually. So I'm gonna bring the camera a little bit more above so that you can see. I'm gonna take um, some coil here and just kind of like the, like the poop emoji, you know how it spirals up to a little swirl? That's kind of exactly what you wanna do with a coil. So I'm gonna take my coil and let it just kind of spiral up, just sort of like the poop emoji. And um, then you would use that to smooth in and so I'm just trying to create a transition from the size of the neck that I want visible under the head to a smaller, narrower thing that will fit inside the head. So it looks just kind of like a little mountain peak or something like that. Now to create the actual bobbler, I'm gonna show you um, or suggest that you kind of get the right size before you, um, before you start to attach it. So uh, you can see here I'm rolling um, a coil and I want to leave it as thick as I can. So for my head, this human head, it's pretty big inside. I can have a decent size. I can have a decent size thing like the size of a Crayola marker. It's probably the biggest you would go. Um, so if you can do that, go big. If you can't do it skinnier like a pencil. And here's what I mean by create the basic length. So I'm going to take my head I'm gonna stick my coil in there till it's at the top and I wanna cut this off. I wanna cut this off kind of like in line with the head or a little bit less, a little bit lower. And the reason I wanna do that is, um, and you can cut it with any tool you can find. I'm gonna use my, my ribbon tool here to kind of cut into it. The idea is that you're, you're starting with a piece that's about the size that you need it to be, the length. Okay, so I'm going to add this on. When I add it on, um, my clay is really, really wet. If it's if yours isn't, slip and score and seal it a little bit. So I would add a little water, a little water, and then you would score it with your, um, with your pin tool. So scratch the surface, scratch, and then attach it. When I attach it, I'm gonna smush it down a little bit to make sure it's really on there tight. So I'm gonna smush it down and then I'm gonna also blend it in. So you can go ahead and attach it first and then put the cap on, or if it's easier, I might suggest that you put the cap on first before you attach it. Okay, the cap is like the mushroom cap. This is what helps it bobble better. You're gonna make um, a small ball of clay in your hands like this, or you can do it on the table, whatever works for your small ball. And you're gonna try to cut that in half. I think that the clay cutter tool, your um, wire cutter, that will work the best. So if you watch, I'm gonna slide it under the halfway point 
And then I'm just gonna try to hold the ball while I pull the string up. Mine was not quite in half. You can see one is much bigger than the other, but all I really care is that I'm getting this little dome shaped cap. And that dome shaped cap is going to get attached a little water, a little scoring, a little water and a little scoring that helps hold it, slipping and scoring. And I'm going to attach the cap to the top of my little bobbler neck. Um, slipping, scoring, and pressing does a decent job, but you should go back and try to connect it. So I can take a tool and try to connect this connection. I could use my finger. If it's getting really crazy, um, take your uh, smoother tool. Maybe your eraser tool will help smooth and connect it. So the idea is that you're getting this little kind of mushroom cap on top and feel free to use a little water to smooth that cap as much as you can. So the more smooth and round and even this is, the more bobbly your head gets and won't get stuck in little places. So this has to be smooth and the inside of my head has to be really smooth where it's going to sit. We'll talk about that in a minute. So before you attach it, maybe just make sure that when you put it in your head, it's not sticking out too much. So I could even trim this down a little bit. See how it's sticking out quite a bit. I could trim that down a touch so that when I put it on, um, I'm not adding too much extra height. Okay, so now I'm gonna attach here. And it's gonna be flimsy. It's not gonna feel like it's gonna hold anything right now. It won't. It needs to get more leather hard, more firm. But I, I think it's smart to build this a little earlier and let it dry up a bit before we get too far on in the process. If you're having trouble wrapping it and things like that, then we can always um, try to do it later in the process. Okay, I'm gonna take some water in there and I'm inside here, I'm trying to smooth the inside as much as I can um, where this little cap is gonna sit. And then I wanna check it. So don't let it sit on there completely, but you'll feel when it starts to touch the top, does it look the way you want it to look? I don't like it, I want it lower. I want it lower than that. So I have two choices, I can just try to squish it down or I can take it off, trim it, put it back on. But you wanna make sure that right now that the height is what you want. And so if it's not looking exactly the way you want, don't be afraid to slice it off. Take a little, trim, trim some down a little bit and then reattach it in a way that is going to look the way you want once the head is on, okay? So that's the basic. The llama is the same, except it's much smaller. So I have a smaller uh, bobbler here. And um, otherwise it's all pretty much the same. So I'm gonna test it. Okay, good. That looks better. Now, the only other thing that gets in the way of bobbling is the size of your hole. So if you, when you put it on there, okay, if, if you don't have any wiggle room, you have to either shave your neck down. So I've got to shave this down and my homemade ribbon tool works great for that. Or I've got to make my hole bigger. And so you would have to kind of start to reshape and shave maybe the, the hole of your pot. Stretching it out could work, but if you stretch it, is it gonna lose the cool shape you've worked on? Then don't stretch it and instead try to shave a little bit down. So it won't wobble if this rim is touching this neck. So once you get your height right, you wanna double check and make sure that there's room, there's room to wobble. If there's no room to wobble, it's not going to, okay? Same for the llama. Um, I won't go through the whole process, but it's just much smaller. So um, when I go to add on my little neck piece, check in the height, then I put my cap on it, slip, score, and seal everything you can. Make sure your cap is nice and smooth. Make sure it has a smooth place to rest in there. 
And then with the llama, you have a little issue of it's front heavy, but um, I'm still gonna attach ear, so I'm gonna hope that that's gonna counteract and balance it. Um, we will have an opportunity later to kind of adjust where it sits and all of that um, when this gets harder, but we gotta get this on so that it can get firmer. So um, you can kind of see right now, my llama's gonna look something kind of like that, and he has plenty of room to wobble. So there's no interference of the size and the size of the neck. My head, I gotta do a little work on. I hope that's enough instruction. I know it's a lot, but I hope that's enough to get you going on how to create the bobbler. And the most important is that you have a smooth surface here and a smooth open surface inside so that it actually can sit and rotate and doesn't get caught on any bumps. Okay, good luck.